Welcome into Game Tape with Tony, now in Elite Prospects. I am pleased to be joined for the first episode of the year by Caden Lindstrom. How are you doing today, Caden? I'm doing good. Yourself? Not too bad. I'm excited to talk to you. I know it's been a while since you've been on the ice, at least in terms of playing games. How's the rehab and everything going? Uh, yeah, it's going pretty well, actually. Just uh, just kind of getting the strength back and then starting to stick out and shoot now. So, yeah, it's coming along pretty well. So, yeah. So how long do you think you're going to be out still? A uh, few weeks, maybe? Uh, yeah, probably a couple weeks, probably till about mid-February about, yeah. Now, you grew up in Chinwood, or Chetwood's, Chetwind, BC. What was life like in a town that just had 250, or 2,500 people? <laughs> well, it's it's really all you can imagine. It's just uh, obviously a small town. All you can really do is just play hockey down there, and it's it's also way up north. So there's a lot of outdoor rinks, and the whole community is really into hockey down there, so that's like I said, that's all you could really do, and all of your buddies are playing and stuff like that. So it was pretty good, pretty good little atmosphere to grow up in. So is that how you got started in hockey? Everyone else was playing it, so you kind of just uh, joined the group. Uh yeah, my my family played it a bit also growing up, so they kind of got me into it. They would they would always strap skates on me and put me in the backyard on the outdoor rink. So I kind of fell in love with hockey there. So yeah. Now you move from playing at home to Delta. What was it like leaving your family for the first time? And and how hard was that leaving your mom, your sister, and your grandfather? Uh it was it was pretty hard, honestly. But uh at the same time I was I was ready for it. I kinda I kinda knew I had to go somewhere else if I wanted to wanted to do this. So it was definitely hard to leave them, but I still stay in close contact with all of them uh, and stuff like that. So now was it weekly calls with your mom or quick calls every day? How often do you stay in contact with your family? Uh yeah, uh they 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 usually text me or I text them basically every day or after every game or something like that. See how I'm doing, and they always check in on me. So so that's good. That makes it way easier for sure. Now the Bergen family, Mark, Karen, Miles, they've been a major influence on you. Uh, yeah. How did that relationship start, and and what has it meant to you? Yeah, so uh, uh during the Team BC tryouts, I actually I didn't have anywhere to stay for that. Uh, so I, I just plan on staying with them for about a week and then all of a sudden it turned in, I stayed, I stayed with them for the whole U17 year at Delta. So, and I became like pretty close with them. They kind of, they kind of took me in as their, as their own and just kind of, kind of raised me almost as well, just for that year and a little bit. So yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely created a, a really strong bond with them. Now your journey from leaving home then to now with the Medicine Hat Tigers, it's where you're having a wicked season so far, 27 goals uh, through and 46 points through just 32 games. How are you feeling about your season prior to the injury? Oh uh, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. Obviously there's still tons I need to work on and stuff like that. So I can't look at it too well, but uh, other than that, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Now I'm sure you've been watching the Tigers and, and the team as you've been out with the injury rehabbing and everything. What is the thing that you've noticed that you can add to the team when you get back? And, and what do you think kind of is the missing piece for them? Oh, uh, yeah, just kind of picking up where I left off. And I'd like to add a bit more leadership when I get back there as well. And, uh, yeah, just uh, the offensive game. And I also, when I get back, I also want to really uh, create my, or uh, have my D zone a lot stronger as well. So, yeah. Now, going through an injury, it's always a little bit tough. But what is the the rehab process and just kind of the journey back to playing been like for you? And in terms of like, what have you taken away and learned from it? Uh, yeah, you obviously learn a lot. Uh, just taking care of your body, uh, lots of mobility, uh, different exercises you can learn in rehab. And then uh, just different off ice things you can work on, like being a better leader and stuff like that. So, yeah. Now, before we get to some of the game tape stuff, is there an NHL player that you try to model your game after? Uh, I don't try to really model my game after anyone. I just I just try and like be my own player. But I feel like I resemble like a player like Group A Hints. I feel we have the same uh, attributes, like uh, good skaters, good shot, good skill, big centerman as well. So yeah. Now every kid grows up loving hockey. Did you have a favorite team growing up? Uh yeah. For some reason, I I like the Washington Capitals growing <laughs> up. I think just because of Ovechkin era and all that. So yeah. Yeah, Obi's an easy guy to cheer for uh, when you yeah. see him scoring 65 in a year. So, <laughs> Exactly. Now, maybe it is Ovechkin, maybe it's a different player, but when you get to the NHL in a couple of years, hopefully, is there a guy you're really excited to line up against? Uh, yeah, Sidney Crosby. Uh, I feel like that would be that would be pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's get to the, some of the game tape here for you. Uh, yeah, let's do it. 
let's just kind of walk through this first shift. What was your thinking on a play like this where the puck kind of does get back up ice where you're at, and, and then you have obviously the power move to get to the goal? Uh, yeah, so this play right here, uh, my my line mate St. Martin made a good uh, good uh, back check and turn over there, and uh, he ended up giving me a good pass, and I just kind of skiing backwards, getting my feet moving so I could uh, quickly beat the guy wide. I just kind of stuck my knee out and drove in, and I just ripped it, so. Now, the power game is obviously such an important factor in your game. You're a big kid. Uh, what has that allowed you to do in your development as a hockey player? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's allowed me to do a lot, obviously, just uh, in the corners and stuff like that. It really helps being a bigger guy, and uh, that's what that's what the uh, when the agility comes in as well and the speed and the skating, so just, just to create uh, more space for myself. So, yeah. Now, like I said, you're a big kid. There's a lot of things going on, on the ice whenever you're out there what have you kind of learned from guys on your team, some of the veteran guys and, and developed as a player? Oh uh, yeah. I learned quite a bit, uh, especially last year, my first year, uh, one of my line, line mates, Dallin Moline. Uh, he, he was a big help for me just coming up in the league. And yeah, he taught, he taught me a lot of, a lot of new things that I didn't really know before, like, like being a better leader and stuff like that. So yeah, he was a big help for me. All right. This next clip I have for you here. It's, it's a really nice play. Doesn't end up resulting in a goal, but it shows off a little bit of everything in your game, I think. So a little bit of physicality, rush up the ice, some good playmaking. Obviously not every great play results in a goal, but on a play like this, what are you seeing on the ice going from the D end rate to the offensive end? Yeah, so our goal is always just to uh, to play fast and move the puck up quick. So I think we all got back in the dice here and uh, did a really good job in the D zone. And obviously we broke up pretty quick. And then just getting on the just getting the puck on the far side there, I'm always looking to beat the guy wide and just kind of drive in. And then I see an uh St. Martin there for the for the tap, and so I just try to slide it to him there. So now as a bigger kid, physicality is obviously part of your game, not only with the puck, but without. How comfortable has it or how long has it taken you to become comfortable throwing hits in the WHL against some of these bigger, stronger guys? Uh, I was I was always comfortable with it. Uh, I just I just didn't really do it as much. Uh I think this year I kind of I really showed my physicality more uh, than last year, but uh, yeah. Now the WHL has got a lot of really good players in it. Is there a guy that kind of sticks out to you as one of the hardest players to play against? Uh, I'd say more last year. I say uh, definitely Zach will stop. Chuck was really hard to play against. I was always paired up with against him. And then uh, Ryan Holfer was also a pretty big, pretty big boy to play <laughs> against. So yeah. All right, this next clip I have for you here, another good play by yourself. Uh, just kind of walk me through what you're seeing on the ice here and, and what you see as this play develops. Uh, yeah, so here uh, I just seen – when I see the puck bobble like that, I always just tend to get my feet moving because I know I know most of the times I could probably beat the guy to the puck when it bobbles because he has to pivot and turn back. So when I see the puck bobble, and that's when I know I can get my feet moving there. And then uh, here, I just kind of seen the guy, the guy uh, lay on his stomach. So I kind of pulled up and then just gave the pass to uh, McKenna and he buried. So, yeah. Now, plays like this, I feel like some of it has to come from natural instinct, especially that little pullback at the end uh, that results in the setup. But how much video work are you doing and in, in seeing these little things and in, in trying to read tendencies from your opponents? Uh, yeah, obviously a lot of video. Uh, we do a lot of video in Medicine Hat, but just also uh, – in practice, I work on stuff like that all the time in practice. I think that's that's where uh, a lot of it comes from. So, yeah. All right. This next clip I have for you here, it's a play where you end up driving up ice and getting an assist on it. What's kind of your mindset just going from that defensive side to getting this play up and, and getting that pass reception and then making a great play like that for the assist? Uh, yeah. So here, obviously, it's, uh, like I said, playing fast and the uh, the D man moving it up quick is a big part of it. So when they moved it up quick, they're kind of, it kind of handcuffed me a little bit, but I just kind of stuck with it and uh, just fought the guy off my body and just, I knew I couldn't get to the net. So I kind of pulled up and just looked and then made the backhand pass to Tyler there. And then he buried a nice goal there. So. Now, one thing I've really uh, appreciated about your game is some of the little things like pass receptions and different things. Obviously, like you said, handcuffs you a little bit here, but you're able to maintain control and get going back up the up the ice and right into the offensive zone, right into the, the slot area. So what what do you do that works on those little things in your game, especially the pass receptions like this? 
Oh, honestly, it's just it's just not quitting on the puck. I I think uh, I I have a pretty good second effort on the puck, and uh, yeah, that just plays like that uh, comes with a lot of second effort plays. So yeah. Now, one guy on your team that you've played with a lot this year is Andrew Basha, another fellow draft eligible. What's it been like to go through the process a little bit together and, and kind of work through that draft year together? Uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, we, we're, we're still keeping in touch right now. Uh, and, yeah, it's been great playing with Basha. Uh, we're, we're pretty good buddies as well. And we have we have really good chemistry and we know what we want to do. We have uh, similar goals as well. And I think that that really helps us strive through everything. So, yeah. All right. This next play here. Is, is something I always like asking guys just because it, it's a, always a bit of a unique play and it's a dying art, in my opinion, the backhand uh, shot. You have a great play here to spin off the defender and then you, you launch the backhand in there. How often are you working on things like your backhand? Uh, I mean, I I tend to work on a lot of different shots uh, wherever it is, wherever uh, whether it's on the ice or off the ice. But uh, yeah, just something like that. I just kind of kind of just had to rip it at the net there i really had no other options so yeah just stuff like that is just comes from a lot of strength as well just uh with the backhand so yeah now i'm sure you're in the shooting room you're getting a ton of shots off every day is there one thing you tend to work on a lot this year just as a draft eligible as a guy that's making his way towards the nhl and hopefully having a good long career oh uh, yeah i work on shooting quite a bit actually after every practice i usually try and get uh yeah quite a bit of shots up and then also i work on my defensive game quite a bit uh just uh just so it translates better to to pro and stuff like that so yeah. now one thing i always like to ask guys is how do you work on your defensive game is it a combination of video and just on ice drills is it a combination of just understanding how you need to get stronger and win battles on the boards and things so what is it that you you're doing specifically to work on that end of the puck uh, yeah, obviously there's various ways to work on the defensive zone, but mostly just video for me because I know I got uh, all the attributes to to do well in the defensive zone. So, uh, yeah, just video and stuff like that, talking with the coaches, asking questions, and, uh, yeah. All right, this next last clip I have for you, just walk me through this play. You're in the offensive zone. You create a little bit of havoc behind the net, and good things happen when you're working hard. So talk me through this one a little bit. Uh, yeah, so obviously Parsons made a huge hit there. And then uh, Basha, like I said, he he passes and then I shoot. So that's 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 all it is right here. And then <laughs> Basha, great pass. And then, yeah. Now, obviously, you get in there first. You're kind of creating havoc. You don't win the puck back, but you're forcing passes early. Is that a, a thing that you're trying to key on in your game this year? Yeah, for sure. That's a, that's a big thing uh, is is our forecheck. So when, whenever we... Uh, because we have a lot of speed up front and behind as well. But uh, when we forecheck guys, they can't really do anything with the puck. So uh, when we hound them like that, we create turnovers and create scoring chances like that. So Now, you've had a lot of stuff go on this year. It is your draft year. So one thing I have to ask is, how much attention do you actually pay to the draft and the rankings and all the different things that come out? Uh, yeah, I, to be honest, I don't really pay much attention to it. I just kind of... Because wherever I'm ranked or whatever like that, I, I know what I need to work on. So, yeah, I try not to try not to pay attention to any of that. But uh, you obviously see it everywhere and stuff like that. But, yeah, just, just try and do me and just keep playing like I do. So, yeah. Now, you pulled on the Helenka Gretzky sweater this year for Team Canada. What was it like representing Canada? You've done it a couple times now. Oh, yeah, it's it's great. It's honestly an honor as well just to put on that jersey growing up. You're, you're watching the Halenka on TSN and stuff like that and then just throwing on the jersey and going out there and playing for a gold medal is just everything you ever wanted. So, yeah, it just feels great. Now, here's my final hockey question before we get to some of the funner stuff, get to know you a little bit more off the ice. If an NHL scout asked you, why should we draft you? What's your answer going to be? Uh, I feel like there's not – many many big guys that can skate uh and i feel i have a good good skill set for such a big guy as well and i can use my physicality and uh yeah stuff like that all right if not hockey what career path would you choose would it be another sport or maybe something going to school for uh definitely definitely football probably yeah yeah now, i think so now it is the nfl playoffs right now and the super bowl matchup set but who's your favorite team uh, I wanted I wanted Baltimore to win, but uh, I don't I don't really care anymore now that Baltimore's out, so <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm a, a Ravens fan myself, so yeah. that makes me very happy. And yeah. uh, I will do everything I can to pump your tires from here on out throughout the rest of the year. So thank you very much. Yeah. Um, if you could picture yourself in a fictional universe, uh, movie, TV show, something like that, uh, what universe would you live in and why? Uh, like a movie universe? Yeah, like Marvel, Star Wars, whatever it may be. Mm. Shoot. Probably probably Marvel. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Now, if you could go to dinner with any three people that are alive, who would those three people be? I'm going to have to say, I always say these three guys, but uh, Michael Jordan, obviously, uh, Muhammad Ali, and then uh, we'll do like like Kev, uh, Kobe Bryant. Yeah. It's a good one. I like uh, I like all three of those guys. Now, do you have a hidden talent? Uh not not I could not uh I don't think so. No, I'm pretty sure I'm yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. I, I haven't really thought about that actually. Uh what kind of music are you listening to? Favorite artists or anything you like listening to? Uh I listen to, I listen to a lot of Drake, uh 21 Savage as well, and then I recently got into country, so Zach Bryan as well. So a little mixture of both. Yeah. Now, do you have a guilty pleasure song, something that maybe you listen to in the car on the way to the rink, but don't necessarily put it all around the boys? Uh, I mean, not really. I'm just kind of, I kind of stick to my own things, really. But there there probably is one song, but I can't really think of it right now. Uh, you had a favorite TV show or a movie? Uh, movie, favorite movie is probably uh, Coach Carter. That's, that's always a good one. And then uh, favorite TV show, probably like, Outer Banks or something like that, or uh, Snowfall. Fair enough. You can't go wrong with Samuel L. Jackson, so it's, uh, exactly. it's a good movie. Yeah. I, I really appreciate you doing this, Caden. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Get healthy. It's good. It'll be good to see you back on the ice soon enough, and uh, thank you for doing this again. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.